W220 instrument cluster removal. Going to show you a few uh, little details that some other videos I've seen have not uh, touched upon. Uh, first step is you have the steering wheel uh, in the high position here. You want to put the key in and uh, let it just automatically go down so you have some room. Now if you're pulling a cluster from a junkyard the steering, steering wheel can still be up but you'll have to actually pull out the cluster from the side and kind of wrestle with it a little bit, but it's doable. Once the steering wheel is down, take your keys, uh, obtain these from eBay. Um, they are identical keys, they're two identical keys, there are two of them. I know of no other way to remove this except with the keys, otherwise you'll probably have to pry the heck out of it. The right one goes in this way, insert it into the uh, opening here. What you need to do is here a nice click, like that. And now when you pull, you can't really easily pull it out. Now if you don't hear a click, there may be a problem. Um, and if it pulls out easily, that's also an issue. So you want to make sure it makes a nice click there. Take the other key, which is, as, as I said, identical, and it will be going this way, I believe. And just make it click in there. And once they both click in, you can pull out the cluster. Now to pull out the cluster, you put your fingers on both keys, you gently Pull, and the cluster should slip out just like that and then you move it around a bit until it loosens up and now you have the cluster fully removed out of its position. Now when you're removing the cluster from the car here's the connector this is how you remove it. You have to press this down. While you press this down, you swing this out of the way and then the whole connector releases from the instrument cluster. In order to remove the key, you have to push on this tab here. So I do it with my thumb, push it down, and now remove the key very easy. Next what you want to do is remove all the T9 Torx screws. Uh, they are T9s and I think there are about eight of them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. There are eight T9s. After you remove, remove the T9s, you want to remove this connector. This is for the internal speaker. Very easy. There's no tabs to press. Just gently pry it out. Now comes the slightly more difficult part. What you have to do is separate this part from the whole instrument cluster and the secrets in these tabs. Uh, what I do is I hold the tab upward gently while I try to pry where this uh, crease is right here. And eventually, once you do most of them, it will pop out. There's also ones at the bottom here, here, and here as well.
once you remove this you can set it to the side there's the speaker right there here's a good look at the uh, PCB circuit board at least one of them that's a very large capacitor right there here are the two ribbon cables for the LCD panel, the driver information center. These are one of the transformers. And these are the warning light bulbs, which are easily removable by uh, twisting them to the left and pulling them out. Next step you have to do is remove the rest of the uh, cluster assembly and as you can see it's very loose all you have to do is just flip it over and then pick it up from, from top and you'll have this little thing loose here don't worry about that just put it back in its place and set the cluster aside and now we have just a cluster here. Now in order to remove the LCD display that we're trying to fix here, first thing are the two screws holding it. They are also T9s. There's one right here and one right here. Once those are out, you can remove the ribbon cables. There's nothing to press here. You want to be as gentle as possible with these and just lift them out of their socket here. That's all there is to it. Now they are lifted out. Final step. Put the needle up in the middle here, and now you're ready to pull out the display. And it comes right out, and you can see the PCB in the back. Next, you have uh, six Phillips screws that you want to remove one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you have a little very small ribbon cable here. You have to be very gentle with this and just lift it up slowly and it will lift up and now the ribbon cable is loose. Finally there's two connectors here, here and here. Nothing to hold or press, just slip them out gently. Once they are out, you can now remove the PCB from the display. Here's how the LCD here looks. And here's the other side of the PCB board. And we're looking to replace all four of these 
electrolytic capacitors. These are SM surface mount electrolytic capacitors. These two are 10 microfarad rated 35 volt and these little ones are 4.7 35 volt.